Hey guys, Luigi Taco here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, ooh, I do not like what I see here. In the last episode, uh, we took down the shower room. And in this episode, we are going to start on the next cave, which is Glutton's Kitchen. So anyway, as you can see here, I was a little startled, because I do not like these guys. Ah! Ah! Although they're not the real thing, these are called dwarf bull bears. They're the real the real thing that I'm talking about is actual bull bears, which is like the adult form, which is not fun to deal with. I I'll get into bull bears later because I I think there actually is one in this cave, but. Just the main gist of it is that they are not fun to deal with. And, ah, that guy is right in the... Ah, I don't like this. No! No, 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 no. No. Jeez. There we go. Ah, I lost one. Okay, so there is a treasure. There it is. Let's see if I can get it. I'm really bad at this. There it is. <sighs> so, we've already started out the cave by losing another purple Pikmin. And I think I'm probably going to have to waste a day in the game just to farm. But, nonetheless. Here's our treasure. Looks like... Lipstick. That's interesting, so... Let's just wait for these guys to bring it back. You know, you'd think that purple Pikmin would haul it faster than others, but they bring treasures back the slowest of all. I always thought that to be kind of bizarre, and also how white Pikmin bring it the fastest, but anyway, here we have... We have, uh... If I can angle it correctly, Mario Paint... Beach pink. Interest. Oh, peach pink. Okay, so... With that, one sub-level's done. Let's go to the next. By the way, there are six sub-levels in this cave. I showed it on the screen earlier, but... Might as well just say it again. So sub-level two introduces a new enemy, I believe. Yeah, this is definitely that one. So anyway, the main theme of this sublevel is not to be generally difficult, but just to kind of work with what you have, and ah, I don't like these guys either. So this is the new enemy. This is called a bread bug. Now what these guys do is they will walk around and they will pick up your treasure. When I say that, where the heck is this guy going? So the best way to find the treasure on this map is to literally follow these guys. They will take you to the treasure because what they do is they pick up either dead enemies or treasure that is just lying around the field. They cannot harm your Pikmin. Well, they can kill your Pikmin, but only in one very, very specific way, which is often quite difficult to make happen, but will only happen if you're careless. What they do is they will... Here, I'll try to find an example. Here's another one. There's quite a few in this cave, and they're pretty difficult to kill. But anyway, I'll try to show their special uniqueness in just a second. If I could find a treasure... I can't find anything. Um, come on, where are these? Okay, I'm near one. Where is it? What? It's up there! Oh. Oh, so see, anyway, what it does is it pulls your stuff, and what you can do is you can throw your Pikmin on it, and if you outweigh it... Oh, uh-oh. 
No, what you have to do is if you, like, out-carry it two-fold or higher, then you will begin to pull it back. And once you get it back to your onion, it will do significant damage to the bread bug, which is what happened to this guy. So anyway, all these bread bugs are kind of just trolling around this area. I'm going to take my yellows just because I need to get to that high up area. So these Pikmin are just going to drag it back. And I hopefully can get this treasure. Come on. There it is. All right. And I do not know if that's the... Oh, ah! Where did he come from? Screw you. Leave. Ugh. Lost two Pikmin already. And here, I'll give these guys some help. Anyway, we have our first treasure rolling in right now. The Imperative Cookie! It has a spiral. The funny thing about cookies is that, well, they're interesting to find, but the bad part about them is that they're worth nothing. You will get absolutely no Pocos from them. So they're practically useless, but still, it's cookies! So anyways, you can see, the bread bug hits it and dies. And it seems there's another treasure here. Wait, was I just close to it? No. Okay, I don't know where this treasure is. Oh, hey. I'm actually... Maybe it's up here? No, it's over... This... Oh, hey, where'd that come from? I wasn't there before. Oh, okay. So where's the hole, then? Oh, it's just over there. Alright, I don't know how I walked past that. That seemed to be just, like, right in my path. Huh, okay, so... <laughs> Screw off, Breadbug. So anyway, that this is one of the reasons why this cave isn't exactly difficult, but rather just kind of a fun cave, especially the last sub-level. Isn't really difficult, you just have to be careful and... You have to kind of use a little bit of strategy. You'll see what happens when we get there. Anyway, let's head down to the next sub-level. So here we are at sub-level 3. As you can see, one of the hazards here is electricity, and ooh, an egg. Ah! Oh. Whoa. Okay, what well you just saw... I don't know if I explained that already, but those are... What? Those are what are called matites. What they are, is they're little crab thingies. If you open up an egg, there's a small chance that you will find them. So, a way to defeat them is... What the hell? Where are you going, Breadbug? So the way you defeat them is... What you want to do is you take a purple Pikmin. Purple Pikmin, if you throw it on there... I should probably take yellows for this. They will instantly kill the... Matites. As opposed to all other Pikmin, which will run away in fear. So just take your purples, throw them on there, and it will be okay. So this is the reason why I brought yellows, because electricity is a hazard. So a general rule for... oh god. A general rule for dealing with my tights is just always keep a purple Pikmin handy. So you'll be able to deal with them if they come. Come on. There we go. Good boy. I'd yellow Pikmin just kind of chilling back there. So, where are these treasures? 
Let's see. I have... Oh, they're all over here, I think. Whoa, I don't like this sub-level. Too much electricity. Alright, so it looks like... Oh god, I hate this guy. So this is what's called a Puffy Blowhog. We saw the Withering Blowhog earlier in the shower room. Well, this is its much larger and much meaner counterpart, the Puffy Blowhog. This guy is pure evil because not only does he take all the flowers off your Pikmin, but he is incredibly resilient and difficult to kill and he flies around everywhere, so... Anyway, now that we've dealt with him, is there a treasure back here? Don't tell me this is a treasure, no. Where is it? Do I... I think I have to kill one of the bread bugs to get a treasure. Well, that's not good. Okay, then. Uh... I guess that's one thing that happens after a while. If you let a bread bug... No. Come on, buddy. If you let the bread bugs roam for a little too long in a sublevel, they will eventually literally pick up the treasures. They are a yes, they're able to pick up treasures, and they will bring it back to their hole. It will be stuck in the hole, and the only way to get it out is to kill the bread bug. So it seems like that's what I gotta do. Which is a real pain, because you never know which bread bug it is. So here we have a compass, it seems. Director of Destiny. So it looks like I'll start with these two guys. If you don't... Uh-oh! So if you don't want to kill the bread bug by just bringing it back to the ship, a similar thing that you can do is you can just throw your purples on it and eventually the force will kill it. So I don't know if that was the right one, but I'm definitely going to try. So, just kill this bread bug. Come on, get back here. Maybe two or three more shots will kill it. One more shot. There we go. Okay, that also could have been it, but... only. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Alright, I heard the sound, so that had to have been it. So... What the heck? What is this? It's like a kitty makeup case or something. Huh, I have no idea what that is. Let's just check out this egg. Ooh, nectar. Me likey. Oh, seems like I have a yellow with me. So, anyway... That should be the last treasure, and if it's not... I'm gonna be a little peeved, but... Whatever. Where's the hole? Wow, this is a big sub-level. Okay. The hole is that way. I'm gonna start heading over there. Let's see what this is. We have... I don't even know what that is. Harmonic synthesizer. So that was indeed the last treasure, so let's just head to the hole and get out of here. Let's skedaddle!